there's a saying about being from Cape Breton, once you've been here and you've lived here, you never really can leave, your heart is always here. That really is true. I never realized how much I missed Cape Breton until we got here. I loved watching my kids play at this same sand pit I played at when I was a kid. Today we came to the Lewisburg Historical Site. The ascent is to spend two hours a day for three consecutive days in the iron color. <laughs> yeah. Here we are, the Atlantic Ocean. You're being silly and doing the Titanic theme thing. I wish you guys could smell the ocean. It smells like, it smells like salt. Crushing. I've missed this. We've climbed down this cliff and we're gonna go put our toes in the ocean. young and get on a train and take a train to Truro and then switch over and take a train over to Toronto. Passenger trains don't travel in Cape Breton anymore. There's a famous Rankin song called the Orangedale Whistle and it's about this train station. Here we are in Sydney, Nova Scotia where my daughter was born. I was born in this building. And we're down at the waterfront where the great big famous fiddle is. This is down on the boardwalk at the pier where big tall ships come in to visit in port. And when I lived here, this big fiddle wasn't here, so it's kind of cool to come down here and take a picture of the kids and me in front of it. Tonight is our last night on Cape Breton Island. We're getting ready to head back. And I'm kind of sad about that. Before we leave, we came to the beach in order to maybe possibly swim in the ocean. Now I know why Jack died! It's a really memorable birthday. I'm really glad that I decided to come for my 40th birthday and make it something special to let my son touch the ocean for the first time, to bring my daughter back and show her where she was born, and to come back to the place where my husband and I spent our first years together. I hope it's not as long next time. So thanks for coming on my vacation with me. Thanks.